last night marked eight straight days of these protests. That is over 11 weeks now that we have been seeing this, but last night's confrontation was particularly bloody. Now, this video is very difficult to watch. Our Lisa Balick is live in downtown Portland with the disturbing video, the circumstances around it, whether anyone has been arrested. Well, at this point, we have not heard from police whether they have made an arrest. They've been pretty quiet all day about this. But it was right across the street there, right outside the Columbia Sportswear area. That's where the man ended up. He was driving a pickup. He ended up outside his vehicle and getting kicked in the head. Now, police say protesters had gathered early in the evening blocking traffic at Southwest 2nd and Main, just a few blocks away by the entrance to police headquarters. There were reports of assaults underway at 4th and Taylor. At around 1030, police responded to a crash and an injury here at Broadway and Taylor. It's where they found the driver of a white pickup that hit a tree lying unconscious and bleeding, but not from the crash. There are videos online showing the driver was pulled out of the truck by several people, punched, then while he was sitting on a curb, a man came from behind him and kicked him in the head. The victim was taken to the hospital unconscious. Police are investigating what led to the attack. In multiple online videos, the driver was parked nearby earlier. There was an altercation outside the truck. A woman with him was punched, then jumped on. The driver of the truck then took off. There were people in the street who then chased the truck and pulled the driver out once the truck crashed nearby, and that's when he was attacked. Now, the Multnomah County District Attorney put out a statement just a little while ago saying, quote, the actions depicted in these videos are universally rejected as wrong and the actions illegal. Assaults and other violent crimes will be prosecuted when the evidence supports such action. Now, I reached out to the mayor's office as well as the police chief's office. I have not heard back yet. And again, we're waiting to hear if and when someone will be arrested for this. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.